Minitech battery low. If the screen displays a message battery low at any point, it's time to change the batteries. Minitech is normally powered with a large battery box, which houses six 1.5 volt C-cell alkaline batteries. Your safe supplier should have provided information about how to access the battery box and how to change the batteries, but we'll see a video for that in just a moment. Your safe supplier might also be able to provide a safe engineer to come out and change the batteries for you. In the event that the battery power is completely depleted and there's no response at all from the keypad, it's possible to use the emergency connector at the base of the keypad with a 9 volt alkaline battery. So you can see the battery cover just here. It may be that the battery cover has been screwed into position, so that screw might need to be undone first. Gently grasp the base of the battery cover and pull down. You can see here that the battery connectors are free. Sometimes they're quite deeply stored within the compartment and so it's a bit more difficult to get it out. It might be necessary to very gently use a pair of tweezers or needle nose pliers to pull that out. Don't pull on it too hard to avoid the risk of breaking the cables and then connect a 9 volt battery so that a code can then be entered and the lock can be opened to then access the battery box. Changing batteries in a large battery box. The battery box has an outer cover which should be screwed into position, so it's necessary to unscrew these screws first. Once they're unscrewed, you should be able to lever the cover away from the cradle. Remove each of the batteries. It's easiest to actually take the middle battery out first and then remove the others. When replacing the batteries, make sure that the correct terminal matches up. There's normally an indication on the inside of the battery box. So you can see there that positive needs to be at the top. So looking at the battery, the positive terminal is at the top. Again, it's easier to actually do the outer batteries first and then place the middle battery. The other side is different. The positive terminal is at the bottom. So there I'm matching up my positive terminal and making sure the others go in the same way. But again, it's easier to insert the middle battery last and they're all into position. You can now replace the battery box cover and make sure that it's screwed firmly back into position.